In this assignment, you have to implement a four-digit key press counter with persistence using internal E square prom. Basically, the counter should display four zeros on SSDs as soon as the board is powered up or reset. On every key press, counter value should be incremented by one. On a long key press, that is for two seconds, the count should reset to zero. On pressing store switch, the current count should be stored in internal E square prompt. On subsequent power ups or reset, the counter should start from the previous stored value in the E square prompt. You should have knowledge on input output port, tactile switch, SSD, and E square prompt. The objective of this assignment is to learn and understand the basic working of the port, that is how to configure the port pins as input and output and how to configure the port pins as digital. Interfacing LED with the microcontroller, working of LED, that is concepts of current sourcing and current syncing, interfacing SSDs to the microcontroller, working of SSDs, its types like common anode and cathode, creating SSD fonts based on the provided hardware, also interfacing tactile switch to microcontroller as active low that is pull up or active high that is pull down. We should also learn tactile switch bouncing effect and how to avoid it that is debouncing, level triggered input, interfacing SSDs to microcontroller, and e square prom data read and write implementation. The inputs for this assignment are DKS1 as count input, DKS1 long press to reset the count, and DKS2 to store input. Please note that you have to use program cycles to implement the above program. A program cycle is the time taken to execute all the instructions from the start to the end of the superloop. In this assignment, you may consider the program cycles as a self-counter.